everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Valerie Dyson and today I am doing a uh, review uh, of this Joa selfie ready setting spray and this is the dewy one do me a favor inspired by K Beauty it has 60 milliliters which is 2.02 US fluid ounces and I believe I got this from CVS for like $7.99 and so this is a cruelty free brand um it's good for 12 months but yeah this is what the product looks like and i do have it already on my face right now if you're interested in seeing me applying my makeup look that i have on in this video it is in a past video i believe it's called uh, a glitter teal eyeshadow look um maybe a christmas party look not quite sure how i titled that but it is in a past video, so check that out. Uh, I use this setting spray. And today I'm gonna be talking about uh, how I feel about this Joa Selfie Ready setting spray. Um, I have been enjoying it. It's rated five on CVS's website where I am right now. Me personally, I will rate it like a 4.5 is really good it's really affordable you can get it at CVS anytime this is a new a type of brand that I've never seen before so I'm sure it interests you guys in seeing my opinion um, just to let you know I do have dry sensitive skin this did not irritate my skin whatsoever um, it does work really well it uh with my makeup and everything it doesn't really have any smell at all that i remember yeah no smell at all that i can smell at all like none um i've had this for a good while now um i have a past video of a cvs haul and this is when i purchased it so you can see how long ago i purchased this but i was using it every day since and i only got maybe like that much left so it is at the bottom and i have uh had time to give a good review on it i do really really enjoy it and if i ever saw a uh, sale going on at cvs and needed a setting spray i probably will repurchase this one um, I do like the wet and wild setting spray, but this one holds like twice as much as that setting spray And I think the wet and wild ones like five dollars or something like that So I would recommend this one over the wet and wild one just because you get more and it does just as good um, but it just lasts longer and is I mean just a little bit more, but you get twice as much product if that makes any sense. I would I personally would choose this over the wet and wild one because the wet and wild one doesn't even last a full month for me um I believe this one's last a month if not more for me now I can't remember how long ago I purchased this but I have enjoyed it over the wet and wild one because the wet and wild one just goes through like like hotcakes um I will say um I do enjoy my morphe setting spray more than this just a tad bit um, but that one's $15 and I can't remember how much is in that but it's in the aerosol can so I don't know how that equals out on how much product is in it um, but this one uh, like I said is like seven something uh, almost $8 uh, so this one's more affordable it's like half the price but yeah if you're in the CVS and you see a sale definitely pick it up it's definitely worth a try and I believe they have like a matte version of this for you normal or to oily skin girls. You can try that out. But I have not. This one says dewy, but I don't find that it's dewy at all. So I believe it would personally work for at least a normal skin, if not oily skin. But it does great for my dry skin. It just doesn't have the dewy effect at all. Like I don't find it dewy at all. Like I have highlighter on so you can't really go by what my skin looks like right now for just this setting spray but yeah i'm gonna do a check-in much later today and show you a little clip of what it looks like probably in about seven hour wear test i'll come back to you uh seven hours from now and do a little clip of what it looks like in more natural lighting um this is natural lighting but i'll probably be outside doing the clip um just so you can look at it a little bit better but I'll come back with you seven hours from now do a little clip 
and talk to you a little bit more about it um, and may mostly just show you what it looks like uh, seven hours from now um, but yeah that's pretty much it um, on a scale from uh, one to five stars five being the best uh, I would rate it a 4.5 um, yeah all right, this is my seven hour check-in. Esau, my bra. <laughs> okay, so it's not the best setting and I know you can see my finger in the corner of there, but oh well. Um, so this is what my skin is looking like. After seven hours with that setting spray, but pretty much my views have not changed. It's an okay setting spray I mean it's drugstore $7.99 for a two ounce fluid ounce bottle so pretty good price works pretty good does its job I will rate it a 4.5 if I had to wait rate the wet and wild one it would be a 4.4 just because it bothers me that it doesn't have a enough you know enough product I mean if it won't even last a month I don't really see the sense of having it you know um, but and I have to rate the Morphe setting spray like a 4.6 it gets dropped down just a little bit because of the price really I want to say the Morphe is like a 4.8 because it's not a bad price at all um, so yeah there's my rating system. This is a 4.5. Morphe still wins, but this is a nice drugstore thing. If you're at CVS and you need a setting spray, I do recommend it. Okay, I'll be back with my outro. All right, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this Joa Selfie Ready Setting Spray Dewy um, Setting Spray Review. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it uh, you saw the little clip that I did before of my seven hour wear test and like I said before I would rate it a 4.5 and I definitely recommend you uh, to get it if you're in CVS and you have uh, some type of sale going on um, I believe it's like a little bit more than seven dollars originally priced so it's definitely worth it I personally love I like it a little bit more than the wet and wild one mostly because it has more product inside of it so it doesn't run out as quickly um, but I do still like my Morphe setting spray but that's double the price and it's aerosol can and you only can get that at Ulta or Morphe's website so it's a little bit more inconvenient because it's not drugstore drugstore um, but I do rate it a 4.5 in my book um, and it's a cruelty free brand check it out if you're in CVS I, I do recommend it I really do um, if I purchase it or not is mainly um, if I find that I don't want to venture out and try a new setting spray into my CVS and there's a little bit of a sale going on in CVS and I need a setting spray I wasn't I wouldn't hesitate to repurchase it but I do like trying different setting sprays and I would um, gravitate going to Morphe um, and getting that setting spray before this one. But like I said, that's double the price. So if I'm in CVS and I need a setting spray, I would, I would purchase this one to be on the safe side over the wet and wild one, definitely. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, please don't forget that I do have a giveaway going on right now. Um, it ends Christmas Day, so yeah, basically all you have to do to enter that is like, comment, and subscribe on that video, and I will say it does help tremendously. The more videos that you like and comment on in future videos or past videos, it does help you tremendously to greater your odds of winning that giveaway. But yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this uh, Noah Selfie Ready Saving Spray review. And I will see you next time, buddies. Bye!